questions? Well, first off, um, you big hole to fill with Tanner. Oh, yeah. uh, so it's what, how's the quarterback uh, competition going? Is it a competition? What's it's, it's, well, it, it's a competition from the standpoint that, uh, uh, you know, it, yeah, it's not like the old timey days where, you know, the whole quarterback controversy and all that stuff. Just, you know, we got two guys that are both, uh, we're going to evaluate and see who, uh, who's the best for the job. And uh, uh, like, you know, both of them had some good things. And, and at any time you come off of a, uh, a layoff like this, and the first couple of practices, he's going to knock some rust off the quarterbacks. And, and uh, like I said, saw some good things uh, with both of them. And uh, uh, glad to see that. Coach, coming after, um, you know, we're one of the teams starting later in the nation. Starting the last team. Probably some, <laughs> probably some Ivy Leagues that, that are starting a little bit later than us, further than that. Uh, are you, you seeing the enthusiasm from the players finally get back out on the field? Yeah, the two things, you know, we ask them they can control is uh, attitude and effort. And the attitude is definitely there. Uh, you can see the work with Dan Ryan in the summer has paid off. The guys were uh, in, in shape. Um, and uh, like I said it's good to see uh, the attitude and effort, and then we'll, we'll make the corrections and put them in the right spot. Smokes, I don't really think so. God, I love you guys. Is there um, <laughs> you had a real good 2018? You know, a lot of enthusiasm. Yeah. What do you have uh, coming back from last year that uh, you can build on for this year? Um, well, you know, I think the guys have a belief that they go out and compete. Uh, I think they have a. Uh, uh, they're, they're still kind of upset the way the season ended, and they want to. They want to finish a little bit better. They're not satisfied. I think. Uh, you know, we have, I think, around 16, 17 stars returning, so we do have some experience, and I think we've upgraded at some positions, hopefully, and with some, some guys that have come in. And uh, so you can't really tell in pajamas. You know, you got to wait till, well, wait till, uh, wait till the pads start clicking. But uh, right now, it's a matter of learning, learning the system, learning the base stuff for the first uh, three, four days, and then we'll, uh, we'll hone in. You know, Monday when we get into real football. You have a pretty uh, tough schedule, some tough games on your schedule. Yeah. Uh, what, are your, what are your thoughts about Sweet. those challenges that you have? To uh, you know, uh, we have a, you know, Western Colorado, they're, they're, they're going to be a good team. They're going to come in, you know, they know us. It's not an unknown deal. So that's not even going to be, a, that's going to be a tough one. We have to play well, uh, play one of the best teams in the nation down in Salt Lake City. And uh, that's going to be a, a big challenge. Um, we get to go to, you know, I talked to uh, the team today in one of our meetings. We get to go to, you know, a few of the more storied one uh, AA stadiums with uh, Wash Grizz, with the Unidome, and with uh, with the Kibbe Dome. So, uh, you know, there there was uh, there's a lot of history to those three places, and uh, those are fun places to play with with uh, great fan bases. And so, yeah, it's 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 going to be difficult, but that's why you know we got the buses and the food, and we have to go play. We can't we can't can't avoid them. So, uh, no, but the kids are like I said they're they're prepared for it. They know it's going to be a twelve-week no-buy type season, and, and uh, uh, it's a matter of being healthy and, and take care of your bodies and, and uh, going week to week on the deal. You guys have the the Big Sky, Missouri Valley, you got Northern Iowa. Yeah. Good. Is that is that a setup that you kind of enjoy that you like? Is that a big I, I think it's you? cool. I think I think that's a good that's a good thing to do, and and it's good for playoff resume stuff. You know, I, I think. The Big Sky and, and the Missouri Valley playing each other is, is a is a smart thing to do. Two of the uh, two of the best conferences, and, and definitely the part of the thing is there's there's only you know Big Skies in the West, and Missouri Valley's you know in that in that Midwest area, and then the other one you have is the Southland down in the the, te the Texas teams, and there's really nobody out here, so uh, it, it's good to go play someone else, and and it's it's fun to go play some different teams that you haven't played. It'd be exciting to go out there. They wear purple too, just like someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? You talked about the the players sort of sorting the showing the emotion, showing the excitement today. What was it for like like for you to get back out there? I mean, you only get to do this once a year. Yeah. Well, after after two days of meetings and sitting around, yeah, it was like finally, you know, we had a little staff meeting right before practice, a little script script check, and and it was like, boy, finally we have to go do this, you know. And and now, as I said, I think I mentioned with you the other day. Uh, now that we started, I mean, it's going to be September 5th before you know it, and and we're we're into uh, uh, 
you know, long days, lots of meetings, lots of, you know, practice meetings, lifting meetings, walkthroughs, and it'll be, we'll be here tomorrow morning at, at 6.30 and it'll be nine o'clock before we know it, you know, and it'll be like that for the next, next couple of weeks. So it's fun getting back out there, finally. Good attitude out of the kids, enjoyed them. It's good to see number two out there too, he helps. <laughs> <laughs> He's all right. You guys good? Good. Okay. Thanks, guys.